Laura Vanderkam, 168 hours, you have more time than you think. In today's fast-paced world, time seems elusive and in short supply. 168 hours. You have more time than you think by Laura Vanderkam provides insights into how people like you can take control of your time and make the most of it. In this practical book, you'll discover the secrets to prioritizing tasks, finding personal and professional fulfillment, and maximizing the 168 hours we all have in a week. From analyzing your current time management habits to identifying core competencies and key strategies for success, this engaging summary will show you how to reclaim your life by embracing the mindset that you are not too busy, you just need to take control of your time. Mastering Time Ownership Teresa Daitner, a mother of six and successful business owner, exemplifies the essence of time ownership. By prioritizing her values, such as family, business, and self-care, she manages to balance it all. Many individuals feel time poor, however, research shows that we have more available hours than we realize. By understanding how we spend our time and reorganizing our lives with a time log, it's possible to gain control and focus on what truly matters. Have you ever met someone who manages to juggle multiple responsibilities seamlessly, leaving you wondering how they do it? Meet Teresa Daitner, a successful entrepreneur and mother of six. She owns Daitner Construction Group, generating seven-figure revenues, and still finds time for soccer coaching, relaxing massages, and her favorite TV shows. The best part? She also gets a full seven hours of sleep each night. The secret to her success lies in her mindset, as Daitner takes full ownership of her time, using it only for her valued priorities. Daitner's approach to time management revolves around her mantra, Is this a priority? By asking herself this question and letting go of anything that isn't essential, she can concentrate on what she does best and what enriches her life. The core message here is that we're not too busy, instead, we're just not in control of our time. Modern living can make us feel time poor, with demanding jobs and smartphones that keep us continuously connected. Consequently, we often neglect our physical and mental health, struggling to find moments for meaningful interaction with loved ones. As a result, we often finish the week feeling drained and disenchanted, with no hope to pursue things we're truly passionate about. However, research suggests that we're not as time poor as we assume. The American Time Use Survey reveals that most Americans sleep for 8 hours and full time working parents only work 43 hours per week on average. This leaves 69 hours for everything else, including chores, childcare, exercise, and hobbies. Unfortunately, only a few of us manage to feel time-rich despite such availability. There is hope. You can regain control of your time by changing how you organize your life. The first step is understanding where your 168 weekly hours go. Create a time log consisting of grids with columns for each day of the week and cells for each hour. Track how you spend every hour for two to three weeks. This exercise will provide an accurate picture of how you use your time and help you realign your priorities, ultimately allowing you to achieve a more fulfilling life. Unleash your core competencies. Jackie Camboard discovered her passion for group fitness and transformed it into a successful business. This remarkable journey showcases the importance of identifying and focusing on your core competencies for a fulfilling life. Invest in your strengths, actively utilize them, and evaluate how they align with your personal and professional goals. To begin this journey, make a list of ambitions and evaluate which activities resonate with you the most, allowing you to unleash your true potential. Jackie Camboard's transformation from an exercise novice to founder of Santa Fe Fitness Studio in New Mexico is an inspiring story about discovering and nurturing one's core competencies. Her journey began with a personal goal of losing weight gain from quitting smoking. As her enthusiasm for group fitness grew, she became a certified instructor, eventually quitting her fundraising job to pursue her passion. The secret to this inspiring transformation lies in recognizing and honing one's core competencies, an approach that drives success in both business and personal spheres. 
By investing time and energy in the skills you excel at and enjoy, you draw closer to living your best life. To embark on this self-discovery journey, start by making a list of 100 things you wish to accomplish before you die. These can be personal milestones, skills to develop, places to visit, or experiences to have. Add any goals you have already achieved as well. The next step is to identify the items on your list that you can achieve swiftly and easily. As you complete these tasks, reflect on the enjoyment and satisfaction they bring you. Through this process, you will gain insight into the skills and activities that resonate most with you. These are your core competencies. With two or three core competencies in hand, evaluate how they align with your current personal and professional life. As we explore further, we will examine how to apply your core competencies in various life domains. Energize life with the right job. Sylvia Earle's story teaches us the importance of choosing a job that aligns with our core competencies, ignites our passions, and challenges us to achieve a state of flow. Reflect on your childhood dreams and seek a profession that uses your unique abilities and experiences to transform work into a fulfilling part of your life. Marine biologist Sylvia Earle's unwavering passion for her job even after 40 years is truly inspiring. At the age of 62, when others might consider retirement, Earle eagerly embraced the opportunity to live in an underwater ocean lab, diving 60 feet below the surface to study marine life. She discovered the secret to a fulfilling career, a job that utilizes her core competencies and truly excites her. While books like The 4-Hour Work Week gained popularity, the truth is that most individuals would still choose to work if they didn't have to. The key to finding a job that brings joy and fulfillment lies in identifying your innate strengths and passions. To find your dream job, reflect on what kind of work appeals to you the most, one that taps into both your skills and your creativity while resonating with your values. Oftentimes, these passions can be traced back to childhood. For Earl, her fascination with the ocean began at the age of three after being knocked down by a wave. When searching for your ideal job, revisit your list of 100 dreams and identify any passions from childhood. This exercise could provide vital clues in discovering a career that allows you to flourish. Another helpful signpost is the concept of flow, when you're so engrossed in an activity that everything else fades away. Flow arises when you're challenged at just the right level and promotes a deep sense of happiness. The happier you are, the more productive you become. Consider whether you've experienced flow during or outside work. Ask yourself what activities led to that experience and if there's a job that involves similar pursuits. By finding a job that draws on your core competencies, you can transform work from a mere means of earning money into a cherished aspect of your life. Master your work calendar. Becoming time-rich requires controlling your work calendar effectively. Identify your career goals and then assess your priorities. Allocate your 2,000 yearly work hours wisely to pursue your dreams. Set annual targets, break them into monthly milestones, and create a weekly task list. Schedule activities in your calendar and commit to them. Learn to delegate or eliminate tasks outside your core competencies, and consider alternative ways to enhance efficiency, such as one-on-one -on -one meetings instead of group sessions. Remember, doing everything is not ideal, focus on your strengths and let others handle tasks they excel at. Biologist Carol Fossbinderworth knows the value of using time wisely to achieve her goals. As a working mother pursuing her PhD, she couldn't afford to spend every waking hour in the lab. Instead, she structured her schedule to maximize progress. Within five years, Fossbinderworth completed her PhD, secured a professorship, and welcomed her second child. The secret to becoming time-rich is controlling your work calendar, and to do this, you must first identify your career aspirations. Once you have a clear vision, it's easier to evaluate priorities. With approximately 2,000 work hours available each year, the potential to pursue your dreams is vast. Emulate Fossbinderworth by setting annual goals and breaking them down into monthly milestones. Every Sunday, make a list of weekly goals and estimate the time required for each task. 
schedule these activities and commit to completing them. Sticking to your commitment requires dumping tasks outside your core competencies. Wasting time on tasks you're not skilled at detracts from more valuable pursuits. If you can't eliminate a task, try reducing the time it occupies in your calendar. For instance, instead of attending lengthy team meetings that consume working hours, suggest one-on-one -on -one meetings between relevant employees to streamline the process and refocus on tasks that genuinely matter. Doing everything yourself is not optimal, focus on your strengths and assign tasks to individuals who excel in those areas. By mastering your work calendar, you can allocate time effectively and achieve your career goals. Unleash your career breakthrough. Leah Ingram's journey to publishing her successful book, Suddenly Frugal, was anything but sudden. Her story teaches that achieving a career breakthrough involves a blend of strategy and compelling storytelling. By building an audience and presenting persuasive metrics to potential publishers, Ingram proved she was a worthwhile investment. Similarly, to conquer your industry, understand the benchmarks that impress gatekeepers, and craft an engaging personal narrative. Seize opportunities and put yourself out there, even when you don't feel ready, to tip the scales in your favor. Leah Ingram's ascent to publishing success may appear swift to some, but it followed two years of daily blogging about frugal living. After enduring financial strain following a move to their dream home, Ingram found the motivation to shift her writing focus towards budgeting. The essential lesson from her story is that a career breakthrough takes both strategy and storytelling. Ingram realized that publishers would need proof of her potential for success. By dedicating herself to building an audience, she demonstrated tangible evidence for her book's viability, gradually amassing 5,000 daily visitors to her blog. Becoming a hit with her online audience eventually convinced publishers to invest in her. To achieve your career breakthrough, identify the metrics valued by decision makers in your field, be it a strong portfolio, attendance numbers, or fundraising results. If uncertain, consult an insider to determine the ultimate benchmarks for launching your career. Alongside impeccable numbers, weave an intriguing tale around your accomplishments. Devote time to introspect, envisioning how a journalist might feature your story in a prestigious publication. Determine your unique, attention-grabbing hook that showcases your tenacity and creativity, like a child entrepreneur who analyzes the weather to determine the best days for selling lemonade. Remember, seizing opportunities, despite any lingering doubts, can drastically improve your chances of living your dream. Embrace the strategic combination of consistent action, targeted metrics, and captivating storytelling to propel your career to new heights. Prioritize core parenting skills. In the past, parents dedicated significant amounts of time to household chores, leaving less time for meaningful interaction with their children. In modern times, busy lives mean that it's crucial to make the most of the time we have with our children. Focusing on core parenting competencies allows for deeper connections and more fulfilling relationships between parents and their children. Identifying shared passions and reducing time spent on less impactful activities can create a more meaningful bonding experience. In the 1950s and 60s, households required upwards of 34.5 hours per week for cleaning, but today that number has dropped closer to 16 hours. With many parents now also working, there is significantly less time available for cleaning and nurturing children. Even full-time stay-at-home moms in the U.S. spend just 22.5 hours per week, or a little over 3 hours per day, attending to the needs of their young children. As time constraints become apparent, parents may feel pressure to maximize their family time. While some engage in specialized activities like crafting and sports, these pursuits do not always create the deep, meaningful connections that simply focusing on core parenting skills can help develop. Prioritizing nurturing activities like reading to your child with funny voices, enjoying shared treats, and pursuing shared interests can help foster stronger parent-child relationships. Developing a list of 100 dreams together can help identify common interests, such as swimming or singing, making it easier for both parties to enjoy their time together. Including older children in activities they enjoy while demonstrating genuine interest in spending time with them will encourage their participation. 
Treating this time as valuable and disconnecting from distractions like smartphones can greatly enhance the quality of these interactions. Avoiding passive activities like watching television provides opportunities for deeper connections and meaningful memories that will be cherished for years to come. Master time with outsourcing. Sid Savara, a software developer, found that his core competency wasn't grocery shopping or cooking, so he chose to outsource these obligations. By employing a personal chef, he not only saved time, but also money by avoiding spontaneous purchases. Outsourcing household chores can free up more quality time, thus enabling individuals to focus on their core competencies and personal interests. Sid Savara excels at software development and guitar playing but struggled with grocery shopping and cooking. As a health-conscious individual wanting to avoid takeout, he decided to outsource his meal preparation. He found a personal chef who could provide him with basic meals each week for a reasonable fee. This arrangement not only saved him time, but also made his budget more economical, as his chef avoided impulse purchases. The lesson here is to relinquish household tasks that don't align with your core strengths. Outsourcing chores can lead to more quality time spent on personal passions and with family. Even if you're a full-time parent, it's improbable that household chores are your core competency. Savara's chef spent less than half the time on meal preparation than he did. By outsourcing, he gained an opportunity to nurture his family relationships. Assess your budget and see which services you could afford to outsource. To reclaim time by delegation, review your time log and find the household chores that devour your time. Usually, food preparation and housekeeping are the main offenders. Full-time working parents generally allocate nine hours weekly to feeding the family, leaving only three hours for playing with their children. Shift this balance by opting for meal delivery services like New Kitchen or Jenny Craig. Alternatively, using online grocery shopping can save time on commutes and queues while providing the convenience of after-hours shopping and staple item lists. Lastly, modify your perspective on cleaning. Continuously tidying up steals quality time. Being house-proud is not as important as investing time in your core competencies. Maximizing leisure time value. Don't let your valuable leisure time slip away by being unintentional about how you spend it. Studies show that the average American possesses 30 hours of leisure time per week, and yet it often feels like there's no time left for ourselves. To truly enjoy these hours and increase their value, it's essential to plan and prioritize activities that bring joy, connection, and personal fulfillment. Whether it's by committing time for hobbies, exercise, or combining leisure with socializing, being conscious and proactive about your leisure time can lead to a richer life. While it may seem hard to fathom, most people have far more leisure time at their disposal than they realize. With an average of 30 hours per week, you'd think it would be a breeze to engage in hobbies, exercise, or socialize. The reality is that many individuals spend most of their leisure in front of screens by default. The solution? Meticulously plan and prioritize your leisure time to maximize its value. Begin by examining your current schedule and carving out blocks for engaging in activities that bring joy or contribute to personal growth, from exercise to hobbies or self-care. By focusing on one or two specific pursuits or passions, you can give these activities the attention they deserve and create more fulfilling leisure experiences. By being intentional, you'll actively choose and dedicate your precious time to things that invigorate and rejuvenate you, as opposed to simply wasting it. Moreover, it's critical to thoughtfully consider when to schedule your leisure activities, to ensure that you can consistently carve out the necessary time. Factor in aspects like childcare arrangements or optimal work break timing when deciding. By doing so, you're more likely to follow through with planned activities and prevent them from going awry. Lastly, consider combining leisure pursuits with socializing, participate in recreational activities with friends or volunteer collectively for a more enjoyable experience. Even everyday tasks like grocery shopping can be transformed into enjoyable moments when shared. By intentionally prioritizing, planning and enhancing your leisure time, you can ultimately lead a more fulfilled and joy-filled life.
168 hours. You have more time than you think is an enlightening guide to help you regain control of your time and lead a more fulfilling life. By examining how you currently allocate your hours, you can identify areas where time is wasted and learn how to effectively prioritize tasks. By focusing on your core competencies in both your personal and professional life, you'll develop deeper relationships, experience increased productivity, and achieve your goals. As you implement these strategies, you'll find that you have more time than you ever imagined, allowing you to pursue your passions and live a life that's truly rewarding.